Hey, people. I'm encouraged to make... Well, I'm encouraged to buy another device because apparently when I record from my phone, entities want to interrupt me when I'm making messages. So I have to make a part two about inter- interpretations. Interpreting. And I didn't want to put too much specific uh, information because... Uh, cricket excuse me for a second y'all oh there we go ish anyway um yeah so when we interpret god or interpret the bible or we interpret our society uh it, it really takes like i was all on board of the kim trail thing i i really thought you know oh my gosh they're they're gonna kill us But I always think about the people in the planes, you know, how are humans able to do this and then live kind of, you know, normally in a sense where if they know what they're doing and they know they have to breathe the same air, then I'm kind of dismissing the idea of the chemtrails are out to kill us. I I do firmly believe and I've channeled this and I've I've prayed I meditated and it always came back to me by saying it's literally to cover up what is really the earth and the people on on the plane of earth are just not prepared and ready to see what's really beyond the veil you know um, that's why I kind of appreciate uh, WSO Jeff P Mr. MBB333 um Brandon Nagel. Hey, Brandon Corey Nagel. And Rap the News. Hey, y'all, let's rap the news. Like, I, I really appreciate them because they have... And I also watch um, Suspicious Observers because it's very... He just tells you how it is. Here's where the sun is this morning. Here's uh, the solar activity, activity this morning. Blah, blah, blah. I usually start there in the morning, but... If I go off of the the theory, and I'm a conspiracy theorist, I admit it, but if I go off of theory being a conspiracy theorist, then I'm only in suspicion. And I'm only in conviction. And I'm only, I'm just ready to point the finger. But if I ever go into the mindset of a chemist, the mindset of a microbiologist, the mindset of a, a astro- uh, what do you call it, meteorologist, or an astronomer. Um, that perspective, it, it, we have to learn to look at things from more views than just the truther perspective, the the suspicious observer. You know, we have to go beyond that, and then you can really find the truth from there. I'm only just trying to be encouraging because. Uh, I know these things, but what I know from the chemtrails is that the side effects of all the metals and all the crap in that air is is potentially fatal for us over time. The body can only do so much. So what do they do? They uh, put fluoride in the water and build your immunity with fluoride for years because fluoride will clear out those free radicals from the metals in the sky then they put fluoride in the toothpaste all toothpaste have fluoride Uh, um, I think even like some medications they have fluoride but they don't tell you this is why when some of us get like panic attacks or anxiety attacks or depression and things like that that just kind of pop out of nowhere those are the side effects of all this crap in the air. There's no hiding from it. It's just going to happen. But we can't be in the mindset of, oh, they're doing this to kill us. That is not, we would have been dead already. And if they didn't do the spraying, uh, we would have been fried to a crisp. There's too much high UV rays. There's a lot of gamma. There's a lot of radiation out there. There are a lot of potentially fatal things that can burn us to a crisp faster than 
just breathing the side effects of some chemtrails. So if your hand was to decide what to do, what would you guys do? Would you allow the solar system to cook the earth to a burnt crisp in a matter of seconds and you just die? That's not the point of being here. Or would you rather breathe the side effects and, and live a little longer to get to your ascension process? Because if you don't get your whole ascension process, then you're not going anywhere. You, you, you reincarnate back on earth. Ooh, there's my confirmation. Look. One. I don't know if you guys see that. One. T. Ha, 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 Anyways, my, my phone's dying. But I just wanted to share that with everybody about uh, interpretation. And really, like, I was interpreting uh, the meaning of God to my friend and he he was open and receptive to it shout out to my friend he knows who he is Um, but the New Testament that's why um, the New Testament was written is because this almighty this heavenly father um, this I am that I am who uh, proclaimed mercy and grace um, begat his son and a lot of times they say don't get got like uh, don't get got don't get gotten and a lot of times like when you guys watch Game of Thrones you're being gotten already because they're trying to project a culture a religion a pagan uh, they're trying to put it on you even though you're watching TV you're influenced by it and then you start living by what you're watching because you're you you're so used to it all the time Kind of like how I am with dancing. I'm so used to it all the time. So I know the ways to manipulate people to do choreography. Like people who don't want to twerk, I can get them to twerk. I know the magic on how to do that. So we have to be careful how we got got to people. Um, It's just another way of saying manipulate. And unfortunately that's what god did with jesus but what i understood about um the virgin mary and when they said uh she was born you know what is it virgin like she was born of a virgin or i forget the term how do you say it but jesus was born of a virgin uh it means that she did not interbred with any human she didn't so obviously that infers that uh, Jesus was a star seed. Jesus was a, a he was a star seed. There's no other way around it. If this uh, young lady didn't, you know, have uh, relations with the guy that she was with, um, it only. And, but then you can't admit you can't say that to everybody. I don't know how it happened. Um, I think an, a, a, a star being, you know descended and and incarnate me in my body but as i said in my last video um we have surrogates those are our parents those are the things that you know it just happened like we can control what happened so but if we can go if we can try to open and stretch our minds to this understanding then i think we can start triggering ourselves to start acting in the now and in the in the future uh, we have to just get a boost, a, a time jump. So I think that's all I really wanted to share with everybody. I, I kind of hit all the corners of what I wanted to talk about. And um, yeah, just just know that Russia collusion, global warming, and climate change, they all don't mean literally what they mean. Um, though it does surround the truth, and there's some truth in it, but... Um, those are all terms that politicians use uh, for their selfish acts because they're, most of them are Masons and Zionists. And the way that they leave code, and that's another topic I'll get into another day, they'll leave code. There's a heron. Look. Oh, oh that's a dirty window. Uh, where are you, Heron. My viewers want to say hi. Anyways, don't worry, I'm not looking at the camera. Um, a lot of times, if I am driving you guys, like I am not 
I'm peeking at you guys when I'm not looking. But yeah, I just want to share those interpretations with you guys that they're not literal. Politics, we have to leave it alone. The truth community has to leave it alone because everything is in reverse and everything is backwards and everything is not of our culture or nature. We weren't brought up in that kind of belief system. So if someone is brought up in a certain belief system, then they would understand those backwards, you know, terms and whatnot. But that's not for us. So don't trip, y'all. I got your back. I'll, I'll figure it out and let you know. But um, have a good rest of your day, everyone. If you have questions, let me know. Leave a comment below. And that is it. Bye.